on the launch of the new Mitsubishi Triton. I've got Pedro Pereira, the MD of Mitsubishi South Africa. Pedro, amazing day, amazing event, and a great launch. Yes, thank you very much. It's uh, great having you here as always. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, Triton's a very important model in our in our range, and uh, really looks good. Bold new look. Uh, big that, upgrade from the previous one and uh, we're really excited to launch it to you guys today. Well that dynamic shield face as you guys are naming it now, which is seriously aggressive. I mean those headlights down over here at the bottom, uh, the daytime running lights, just the whole effect. It's, it's a mean looking vehicle I've got to tell you and uh, the 2.4 litre diesel engine? Yes, 2.4 It's the same one we've had in the previous Triton, amazing with the aluminium uh, head as well. So 133 kilowatts, 430 newton meters of torque more than enough power and uh, yeah we're very happy with the price we managed to launch it at a really competitive price. prices are amazing because you're starting at about 530,000 this is the top of the range 509 for the 4x2 yeah. 509 yes. apologies yeah for the 4x2 the 4x4 top of the range with a six-speed automatic box now and you're coming in at 589 Correct. brilliant I mean you're gonna upset the market a little bit I think I think we have to and we, uh, it's, it's about time to start gaining some market share and the lines are distinctive from the previous generation, but tidied up a bit, looking very neat. And look at this interior. Really, really smart, very neat. Of course, you've got the nice big touch screen over there, the leather trim. It's got pretty much everything you want out of a vehicle of this sort. And also, what was impressive, I thought, was pretty good legroom in the back too. So it's got a lot of space. Yeah, Mitsubishi's kept its traditional J line that we when they introduced the, the, the new generation Triton, which gives you the extra extra room at the back. And then of course keeping up with the technology, we've got you know two USB chargers for the passengers at the back as well. Everyone's always fighting for the one single charger. Absolutely, yeah. To charge their phones. And the other big thing, and I can vouch for this, is the off-road ability of this vehicle is unreal. That off-road course we did today, I was a bit scared a few times, let me tell you, but 90% vehicle, 10% driver, and we just sailed through everything. And it's, yeah, it wouldn't be a Mitsubishi if it wasn't good off-road. I think <laughs> true to its sure. heritage, uh, had, to, had to be really well engineered for off-road. Mm. Well Pedro, for I want to thank you so much for today. No problem. Thank you Launch. for joining us, and uh, we hope to sell lots of these and see lots of them on the road soon. You're going to, I can tell you that much. Thank you Thanks very much. very much. Thank you. Okay, engaging the diff lock for the next obstacle. Okay, let's go. And right, no, there we go. Too much left, go straight. Oh, you're just missing that thing. Okay, it's fine. Turn left a bit, turn left, turn left, turn left. More left, more left, more left. Fine, let's go, just keep it like that. This thing makes it feel easy, doesn't it?